never comes. I don't like this seating arrangement. What? Because our backs are to each other. First of all, it's just hilarious that you have to have a high chair. You want the jacked, jack you know, the barber, the barber shop chair. Cheers. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm good. So we've uh, got a local taster. Really local. Really local, like just down the street local. Um, I drug you and Cody to the Martin Greer Distillery just down the road, and uh, we had a good time. Drug us willingly. Willingly. <laughs> Took us a while to find it. Yeah, it was kind of not where the map said it was. Yeah, GPS really sucks. Sometimes you should have seen where, well, we'll not talk about that because I put the wrong numbers in. <laughs> so is this the first distillery you'd ever been to? Yes. This is the first distillery I've ever been able to go in the back to. And I mean, there really wasn't a back. It was just open. But he really... Yeah, there wasn't a front. Yeah, was... there wasn't a front. He really uh, showed us... Uh, the inner workings of this and how he does things and really nice guy yeah, super nice guy so if you're ever in the north texas area you should stop and see uh the martin greer distillery and we picked up a couple samples and we're going to do uh one today and one on uh the next day tuesday and, and the guy was super generous too oh yeah yeah he gave us a whole bunch of um, tastes from different ones and uh, remember the, the, I guess it was the moonshine. He's like, here, take this cup over there. And we're at the still, yeah, popping it. Yeah, pulling it. And it's the whiskey one. Was it the whiskey one? Yeah, like his big mm -hmm. container. He just hands you a cup. Yep. And then he, fun. like, let us taste his devil, private, his devil private cut. Stash. And it was, uh, it was a really enjoyable trip. Really nice guy. So, uh. Yeah, like I say, if you ever get to uh, North Texas, you should go check out Martin Greer's Distillery. And we're going to try his Honey Mash Moonshine, which is 80 proof. 80 or 90? I thought that was not higher. It's 90 proof. And the thing is, it's honey, but he does everything with honey. Yeah, he does everything with honey. And he um, uses a specific type of honey. It's a local... Honey Is there that he. Honey in that? I thought it was just in the whiskey. That's why it's called Honey Mash Moonshine. I didn't see it anymore. <laughs> um, and it's true moonshine. I mean, this is like white lightning clear moonshine. Yeah. There's no color to it. No color to it all. So let's get down to this. It's twenty-seven ninety-nine for a quart. Is that a 750? The quart is a 750? I don't know. Now, I'm uh, not sure how. Who, who's this guy over here? That, yeah, 750. I guess the quart's a 750. Not, I don't know how to do the uh, imperial um, conversion. So there's with the um, metric system. There's way, no way to know. Yeah. It could be a gallon, or it could be. It's a, a magic. Yeah, it's just unknowable. Sure. Alcohol is standardly metric because a 750 milliliter is a milliliter. I don't know I really how. don't like him. Yeah, I don't know how widespread the strip did. He's been drinking for a while. Water distribution on this is, but you can get it at our, lo at our local. <laughs> you can actually get it at Total Wines and More. They got it at Total Wines. At least the local one. So $27.99, that's a three barrel, a three barrel, and aroma. <laughs> well, it smells good. Very honey. Right off the bat. You know what is quite funny? Is Junior over there doesn't have any of this. <laughs> he just realized it. That is funny. 
Um, very aromatic. So our choices are sharp alcohol, which is a one, pungent two, three is a mild, four is light, and five is pleasant, and I'm going to have to go about a four. I was going to go four and a half. Four and a half? It just got that... I mean, we're always talking about the caramel and everything, mm -hmm. but this is so much honey that it's... <clears throat> so it is, it's got that aroma that is very pleasing, that, that mild or that light aroma. Um, the What is drawing me away from a four and a half or a five is I can also smell the alcohol. It's also 90 proof. So. Yeah. So that's why it's not getting a 4.5 or more. Um, and I, I would assume that if it had, you know, if it was barrel aged, you know, with the caramel tannins and everything like that, it would mask the... That yeah, but it's it's not. But it is. This is straight out of the copper still. Did he had a copper? Yeah, still, he right? had the copper still. And the thing with most moonshines that I, you smell it and you're like, oh, this is gonna be a little bit of punishment drink. But I smell this and it's like, I want to drink this. <laughs> that's what. I have yet to see you. Well, no, that's not true. We did sample something last night that we'll be doing an upcoming episode. But I've yet to see you sample anything that you weren't like, hmm, I wouldn't want to drink this. No, I, I didn't say you wouldn't want to drink it. It's like some moonshines, it's like, oh, this is going to be a little painful drinking this. But mm. I do it for the people. You and know? psychologically, <laughs> I think I am feeling that. It is moonshine, 90 proof. So psychologically, I'm already expecting it to be a little bit on the uh, heated side with a burn. But let's go ahead and, yeah, let's and try that. It. Flavor is very alcohol is a one, bitter and palpable two. Oh, wait a minute. What did you give it for? <laughs> Moderate is a three, pleasant is four, and rich is five. Cody, what did you give it? <laughs> It's got some legs on it, by the way. Yeah. It is definitely moonshine. Yep. So I, I got what I want. I'm gonna... I'm going to give it a three. Okay, that's exactly what I gave it. I gave it a three, which is moderate. It's, I can smell the honey. I can't taste the honey. I can kind of taste the sweetness, but you can definitely feel it in the back of your throat and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So that leads us to bite, and I'm going to say that it's a two on bite. It's not only is it a bit sharp, it's not medium, but it's not strong either. It's a bit sharp, but also lingers. Yeah, I... I'm, like, I'm thinking about a two and a half. Two and a half? I laughed because you said you were thinking. That doesn't happen very much. But it's... It's like, it's kind of thinking because it's like, it's not a, it is pretty sharp and it's like, or strong, but it's not in a bad way. Okay. No, no, no. I would definitely purchase this. Yeah. I, especially since it's down the road, I'll probably be going back. And this is the one that I purchased. You purchased. The, I purchased the whiskey. You got the This one shine. and it's like. Yeah, I would definitely, like, I'd drink this and go buy another one. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think I could actually use, I mean, definitely putting the ice on this, mm -hmm. or this over ice, um, would chill the, the bite a bit. But I could actually see using this as a mixer with some Coke or 7-Up because of that lemon yeah, Flavor. with the, the honey and the sweet, with the 7-Up, that would probably be pretty good. Yeah. I would also... In fact, why don't you grab a 7-Up out of the 
closet real quick and we'll give it a go. I'd also definitely just bust this out during like a get together oh my with God. a stupid boy. <laughs> I'd bust this out with just to get together with friends and stuff, just to kind of like if you're smoking cigars and stuff to just enjoy it. I almost made a mess up there because he's got a duck drinking. You're supposed to wait and have that as an Easter egg. <laughs> See if anyone notices. What I don't like about this is it comes in the mason jar. It's hard to pour out of a mason jar. Yeah. So, actually, I'm going to just um, redefine if you get one of these. It's just yours, and you just drink it straight from the mason jar. So here is this. I probably just ruined it because I'm not a mixed person, but this is with a little bit of 7-Up. Not a cool 7-Up. It's a warm 7-Up. That's not bad at all. Hey, that's actually really good. Really good. Yeah. Somebody's got to try it. That's the first use of a mixer that we've ever had on an episode, you know that. Except for the gins, we've been mixing the right. gins. But, I think maybe even Pierce, you want some. That is really good with a 7-Up, which is dangerous for me. Yeah. Because now it's completely masked the bite. And so I could end up drinking a number of these. You know, like you said, this is warm 7 Up. If, if it was cold, it would be really be, good. Yeah. It would totally change the barrel rating of this upwards to about a four. That's good stuff. Martin Greer, good job. Yeah. And being moonshine, I never look for moonshine to be like. A sit down sit. with your whiskey glass and just drinking it right. neat. Yeah. That's good. Supposed to be harsh. That's why you get it. You know, there's a reason why it's called moonshine. Well, when I think about moonshine, I think about rot gut, four dollar oh, <laughs> fire water. Fire water. And this is not, this is almost thirty bucks. And it's good craft. Just... I mean and maybe our opinions are a little bit tainted because we got to know the guy a little bit mm -hmm. and visit it and see how it works and I don't know, but... Well, I got the moonshine for Christmas and it was like, it was in the jar too and it was harsh and I put it in the freezer and that definitely yeah. helped, but it's the only reason you wanted to drink the moonshine but, is... Yeah, that white lightning moonshine was just plain You just lightning. You just wanted to drink that to... Flavor. Give you a little flavor. quick buzz after yeah. work or something, you know. It wasn't like oh, I'm just gonna relax and enjoy this with a cigar. You wouldn't want to smoke a cigar because it blow up in your face. <laughs> so Martin Greer, um, Honey Mash Moonshine, uh, about thirty-seven ninety-nine, about or twenty-seven ninety-nine, about thirty bucks. Um, we give it a three barrel it's, and really good with uh, some Seven Up. Yeah, it's good. I like yeah. it. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out the uh, um, other videos. Make sure you share. That's what we really want to do um, or have you do. The merch shop. Got merch coffee shop. cups, shirts. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. And hopefully we can get back on a steady schedule. We're just trying to get over some uh, <laughs> really big disasters. series of unfortunate events this yeah. summer from all sorts of chaos but our last two videos were a little bit fuzzy because i think we just rushed a couple episodes out when we shouldn't have so hopefully things look a little better and clearer um cody's been working hard on getting it situated i think he's working on duckies more than yeah anything, but... drunk duckies no, I that last week. okay and unfortunately it's supposed to rain tomorrow again yeah, life is going to be changed for quite a while. So. You know, I, I moved here, everybody knows I moved here recently from Arizona, and I was kind of excited about rain and stuff. I am pretty much over that now. Yep, nonstop rain. Right. 
So, all right. It's your fault. <laughs> Cheers. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And moonshine. And I would say this is pretty good whiskey. Pretty good. Yep. All right. All right. See you later. Later. There's somebody coming Stup through the door. Stupid dog. Thank you.